Hello everyone, and welcome back to Drang Lake. I've, uh, I took a little break since the last video, since uh, I needed to upload a bunch of stuff, it seemed like. But uh, now we're all back and we're ready to keep going. Ooh, someone's got the Havel armor, it seems. That's nice. I had an inkling that the Havel armor was in the game already. It's very difficult to isolate yourself completely from any news of uh, Dark Souls related stuff. <laughs> I had heard that there was a place to uh, fight certain characters from the original Dark Souls. I don't know where that is or what circumstances are required to access it, but uh, it means that there is a bunch of Dark Souls related equipment. Be wary of jumping off and then luring it out required ahead. Yes. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. We have to try and get down to the old Iron King. And then hopefully uh, destroy him for good. Because if I can do that, then I am probably. Like, I'm almost certain he must be an old one. There's no way to go after uh, defeating him, it doesn't look like. I hate these turtles. They are a huge pain to deal with sometimes. Not terribly creative in close range, but they get the job done if they hit you. In open areas they're almost harmless, but in closed areas they're pretty hard to avoid. Oh, that was close. Also, they do that little run-up move, they suddenly get much better tracking, and uh, if they hit you, you pretty much die instantly. So that sucks. Now, I might be able to handle this room a little better this time. The previous times I tried doing this did not go so well. Now, let's try this first. You have chosen poorly. I don't even know why that archer was so uh, intent on doing that. <laughs> oh well. Saves me a lot of time on uh, archery. The last few times I went through here, I'm pretty sure I just shot everyone to death with my arrows. But that would have taken a long time. There's still a matter of uh, one or two treasures here and there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to solve everything right away. Because right now. The highest priority goes to getting to the bonfire area. No, what am I saying? Getting to the bonfire area. Getting to the old king. I would love to find a bonfire between here and the old king, but last time I looked pretty thoroughly and I didn't get anywhere. Realistically, it's not that far though. It's just annoying that I have to deal with these enemies on the way. Because their positioning is all kind of weird. And I hate these great arrow archer types. There are some other problems here too. I still haven't figured out what that ladder in the center of the room is for. Although maybe it has something to do with this. It might not be an elevator per se, but I'm guessing maybe there's a way to raise the platform while someone's on it. Even if it was just a summoned ally that did it. If it didn't crush you, it would take you up to the roof. Maybe there's a... Oh. You gotta pay attention. Or you'll die. Okay, maybe from this angle I can avoid the arrows. Probably best just to roll out of the way there. Yeah, I only have to get rid of one more. I don't know if there's any benefits going up there though. Ladder or no. Actually, lowering the uh, platform might let me access the ladder. 
that might be worth a try. But yeah, I hate this bit. Yeah, my arrows won't go through that. You, you bet anything that his will. <laughs> Crap. Stop that. We've done all this before. No need to be doing it all over again. So, what else would be nice? It would be nice if I could get that crystal lizard. But I don't see that happening. Just fell off. <laughs> Be nice if it died and dropped all its stuff, but I don't think that's how it's going to work. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could jump over that, but that looks so dangerous that I'm pretty much. I might save that for a return trip. So if I lowered that down, I could probably get to that ladder, and then I could go up there. It looks like there's a chest up there. But you know what? I got better things to do at the moment. That's a trap, isn't it? Damn. It looks like one. If it is one, it's in a pretty harsh place. Stay there. Damn it, I messed up. Thought I could get him in the fire trap. Oh, I ended up stepping on the pressure plate after all. Oh. Okay, he fell in. So what, if I step on these pressure plates, the uh, area in front of me will just collapse, will it? Okay, that's pretty neat. So that means you can destroy enemies that way. Okay. Good to know. I guess that means there were other ways to deal with this area. If you were so inclined. Oh well. Learn something new every time. For now, what I need to learn is if there's another... Yes. Okay. Not too shabby. Now there'll be some kind of blur turtle guy down here, which I hate because they're rather difficult to deal with. Bait and attack. Uh, Roll, stab, roll. This is the only way I can think of to actually deal with them. If I had a much stronger weapon, this wouldn't take so long, but i got to work with what I got. Now, the next one can be dealt with in a much easier way. If you pay enough attention. First, raise it up, and since I'm not feeling too confident, we'll let it uh, run down. Come on. Okay. Then you pull, raise the trap again, get this guy's attention, and you get him to stand under it as best you can. 
And you have instant turtle soup. <laughs> I really like this mechanism. It's a shame it's the only one here, as far as I can tell. Bonfire head left. That's what I heard last time. But I never found any bonfire. All I see are spikes. And I remember there's a turtle guy down here. Anything I have ever cared to do. Okay, stop that. Um, they wanted me to find. God damn it, you can't camouflage it any better, can you? Who would be looking for that? What the hell's happening here? Visions of misfortune. A lot of blood stains there, but I wonder what they're for. No one cares though, cars bonfire. Ah, thank God there's a bonfire here. Okay, I guess there was more to this castle than I first thought. Leave her ahead and then fire. What? Oh, are we inside that bull statue? Kind of looks like the inside of a mask. In the eye slots. Funny if I could see something from up here. <laughs> I can see the boss room, but I can't see the boss. It'd be hilarious if he actually appeared though. I guess that switch turns off these flame gout things. That's the only thing that's happened. some sort of dueling spot or something. Oh wait, no. People just fall down the, uh, the ladder hole. <laughs> well, I guess that means I can grab lightning shortbow. Okay. Better late than never, I guess. Oh, yes. I forgot about you. Okay, please don't uh, make a nuisance of yourself anymore. Now, what kind of equipment do I have? I do have Ring of Life Protection, so if I want to take on the boss without risking my souls, I can do so. Uh, as much as fire defense seems like uh, tempting, I don't think it makes much of a difference in this kind of boss fight. Seems like the kind of fight where you either get hit or you don't. <laughs> if you get hit, you're probably going to die. If you don't get hit, and you probably didn't need the defense. So maybe I should uh, lower my weight considerably. I think I had done something like this before. But, uh,. pretty hard because <laughs> I don't have very good weight limit to begin with. Oh well. 
I guess I'm stuck for the moment. So we'll go for a bit of defense, probably. And since it's uh, like it's been a couple of days since I actually saw this guy, I might put some sign down. Let's see if we get any traffic here. Just so I can remind myself what I'm up against. Yeah, I figure that room we went to before must have been up there. I wonder if it's turned off the flame gouts in other parts of the castle. Because you never know. Yeah, I was going to say, I was getting summoned almost non-stop before. It seems like a really good spot to uh, get summoned, actually. It's a relatively easy fight with a pretty good payoff. When I say relatively easy, I mean like it's... My impression of the fight is it's easy to screw it up, rather than difficult to win. <laughs> like it's not its not really the boss that's probably going to kill you, it's rolling off the side that is more likely to finish you. Right at it now. Oh! <laughs> I didn't think he was aiming at me. Oh! God damn it! What slow ass flame? Oh well, I deserve that. I deserved every bit of that. His flame lasts quite a while after he actually spews it, it just sort of came creeping around the wall. <laughs> I didn't notice it. Oh well, this is why we do these uh, little co-op sessions. So, things I've learned. He probably is aiming at you, so you should move. And the other thing I learned is that his flame breath actually lasts a lot longer than it looks. And you shouldn't walk into it. So hooray for those two things. Uh, let's uh... On the other hand, I did stand up to his uh, flame attack. I only not his flame attack, his fist attack without actually being destroyed. So that was good. Okay, it'd be too difficult to wear that helmet. It'd be nice to wear a helmet though. You need a lot of intelligence to wear this. It's probably a good thing that armor now has a stat requirement. You don't have to worry about twink armor too much. Oh well. Because I'm still stuck with this hat. Of course, no one's going to summon me now, because I'm incompetent. Oh wait, there we go. <laughs> it's like everyone's... Uh, it's like there's a rumor going around that summon that Giga guy. He does the stupidest things when he's summoned. It's like someone saw my soul sign, put down a message. Don't need ally. <laughs> Beware of ally. A whole bunch of other things it could be. Still. Gonna do this somehow. See how much better it would be if I actually had a long reach weapon of some sort. Skulldug 77. I shall uh, try and be more uh, helpful. Than the last one. Now 
Now, I think something's happening outside, so if the microphone suddenly goes off, it's because uh, something noisy is about to happen. <laughs> so I might do this co-op session in silence and uh, check back in during the next one. So it seems I'm not very good at uh, dodging his sweeping attack. That sucks. Um, I think I might just go for it though. Because, uh... I think maybe just doing it is probably going to help me out better. So, let's just get my uh, solo attempt out of the way. <laughs>
God damn it. That was total troll right at the end there. <laughs> I was doing so well. Then right at the very end, nope, denied. Uh, let's go fix this thing. Now, I'll tell you what, since I'm having trouble doing the commentary right now, I'll uh, go do some co-op sessions and I'll be back later. So, uh, thanks for watching and see you then.